Israel is, is, is saying that this war is a defensive war. Obviously, it was instigated by October 7th, but the way it's being fought is not in a def defensive way. To see Hamas as representing Palestinian people, you're saying, is wrong? Absolutely wrong. And also, just to, just to point out that most of the people alive in Gaza today were not alive when Hamas was elected. They were either children, they were not born or they were children at the time. So absolutely Hamas does not represent the majority of, uh, uh, of Palestinians. And if Palestinians hate Israelis, it is not because of their religion or their identity. It's because of the fact that they've only interacted with them as enforcers of a military state. They have mm -hmm. only known them through their check checkpoints and bullets and guns. It's not something that's inherently in them against Jewish people. Anti-Semitism is absolutely present, and it's, and it's been on the rise. It's been on the surge. And it is the worst kind of uh, bigotry. Uh, it is pure hatred. And I always say that Muslims have to be, have to be at the forefront of fighting anti-Semitism because Islamophobia is the other side of the same disease, and it's also on the rise. Judaism is a, a religion of peace. It is a, the first of the three monotheistic religions. And as Muslims, you know, we, it, was, it was Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. We all believe in the same God. And the issue is when you try to conflate anti-Israeli policy with anti-Semitism, mm -hmm. right? Anti-Semitism is when you persecute somebody or you uh, discriminate against somebody based on their Jewish identity. Israel is a state. It has political policy, political parties. So in, you can criticize the state of Israel, but that's not necessarily anti-Semitism. So they're asking, traumatized after October 7th. Absolutely traumatized. I understand that. And I understand that because of my own background, that I would identify with the Palestinian side more. And I, because of that, I challenge myself every single day to put myself in the shoes of an Israeli mother who, is, who has a child that's been taken as hostage. Or, um, or any young Israeli who has been taught and who's heard of the horrible persecution that the Jewish people have had to endure in Europe. And, uh, and I try to empathize and see where they're coming from. And absolutely, you know, we need the hostages to go home as soon as possible. And we need the war to end as soon as possible so mm -hmm. that Palestinians can go back to their homes if they have homes left. So I understand that, that what happened on October 7th was traumatic and devastating for Israeli society. But the reaction to it has not helped the situation. You cannot just rely on your, this visceral reaction of retribution and revenge um, because then you're just, you know, you're just going into